In this project, we are going to simulate the transitional motion of a cube containing water and air. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. In this project, the transitional motion of a cube containing water and air is investigated. The interaction of water and air inside the cube is modeled using the volume of fluid multiphase approach. Cube accelerates in the x direction with an acceleration equal to 5 meters per second squared, while gravitational acceleration in the y direction affects the multiphase entity. This project investigates the simplified sloshing effect in fluid containers where due to the acceleration of carrier vehicle, a situation similar to one studied here can occur. VOF multiphase approach is taken into account since it is an efficient and precise approach for capturing an interface location between phases while being one of the most common multiphase flow investigation approaches due to the computational cost convenience. Results show that pressure on the bottom surface of the cube varies with position. Further away from the cube's front, pressure increases. Now there are several assumptions taken into account for this project. First, the type of our solver is set to be pressure-based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Second, we have selected the absolute format for velocity formulation. And third, we have selected transient time studies since we are dealing with a time progressing phenomenon. Also, you can see here that we have enabled the gravity and its value is equal to minus 9.81 in y direction. Another point that should be mentioned is that we have set the value of acceleration in x direction equal to 5 in order to model the translation of our cube or domain in x direction. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change the discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order advent and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver, which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. Now the next step is to define what portion of our container contains water. To do that, we use the patch option. To create such region, you have to click on domain, go over adapt, and then click on region or course. Now in this window, you can enter the input coordinates for the starting point of your region to its ending point. In the appeared window, under the surface of constant, select mesh, and then underneath it, select Z coordinate, and then click on create button. Now in this slide you can see the pressure distribution inside our computational domain, also you can see the hydrodynamic pressure due to the existence of a column of water in our model. And in this slide you can see the volume fraction contours of water, also you can see the changes in the level of water due to the motion of our container. Finally a summary of the settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented in this slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.